little bit of background on yourself. Are you from here originally? I'm not. I'm originally from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. So you'll, you'll see when we go on the virtual tour, you'll see a lot of Cleveland Browns relics uh, and Cleveland Cavs. Um, so we are, I, I'm a diehard Clevelander, regardless of how bad they are uh, athletically. I do hold on to that LeBron trophy, you know, that, uh, that, that one championship. So we're, you know, we are, uh, you know, but we're a diehard Cleveland family. So basically what you're telling me is that you had a painful childhood growing in, in <laughs> Cleveland. Oh, from, from, from Ernest Biner's fumble uh, to the Indians, you know, can't close the deal on the Yankees to multiple times with the Cavs. Uh, and it's just, it's not looking any better now. I hold out, you know, the, the, the highlight of a Cleveland fan's year is the draft. Yeah, it <laughs> truly we, is. We hope that, hope is all it is. We hope we're going to get someone uh, that, that, that can change it. Um, but yeah, it was brutal. Uh, it still is. I still get teased a lot by Steelers fans. But, uh, <laughs> you know, once you're a Cleveland fan, you're a Cleveland fan. Here's a nice little Cavs relic. This is a... Uh, Darius Garland, who is the new draft pick for the Cavs, first round draft pick. My son and I went and we got his autograph, got the jersey signed, um, got a chance to meet him and Colin Sexton, who's another really good player. Um, so that, that's one of the things that, you know, you, as a Clevelander, those things you can look at and, uh, and, and be happy. Yeah. So. He's the new hope, right? He's, He's the new hope. <laughs> and like I said, another first round draft pick. I will go down to our – it's kind of a – It's not, I don't like the word man cave, mm -hmm. but it's kind of a place where we exercise. My son has another um, gaming system down there and, and things like that. And this is kind of like our Cleveland, Cleveland room, so I'm going to walk you down now. Indians, as you turn the corner, we are Ohio State fans. And then we have – down here we have our mini basketball. Oh, there's another Cleveland Indians. And then we have our mini basketball. And we have more of our favorite right there. We love UT. We're Rocket fans, but we're also Buckeye fans. Yeah. Big Buckeye <laughs> fans. Mm -hmm. And there's a favorite of the Cavs. I love the setup down there. Uh, it, it's good for – and I, I know why you wouldn't call it Man Cave because that's good for anyone. Anyone can go down there and yeah, enjoy absolutely. that? Absolutely. And I'm, I'm very big on making sure it's all-inclusive. We want to make yeah. sure that, you know, my daughter feels comfortable down there as well. That it's not, you know, and, and one of the things that we talked about was she didn't want any male athletes on the wall. She said she, she was fine with um, having logos. And you know what? It made sense because there's not a lot of those type of things that are with female athletes. Mm -hmm. It's very, very, very few. So I totally understood that and respected that and thought, so let's just do logos so that it's, it's gender friendly and, you know, it, it's, it's a place that everyone comes in without seeing five different men on a wall playing a sport. So it really opened my eyes to that. So this is my 11-year-old son, Max. Hi. Hi. And then that is my 14-year-old daughter, Hi. Lily. We spend a lot of time down here, whether it's exercising. Um, I was a martial artist when I was in shape before, so I still have my... Uh, pads and stuff like that to work out in and try to help my son learn. Thank you very much, Jack, for taking us around, introducing us to your family, and uh, you know, best of luck uh, next school year and for your, you know, teams as well. Whenever the tribe takes a field and next year with the Browns and Cavs, uh, yeah, this is a nice break for you. Let's put it that way. As far as from it is, sports, it is. there's there's no losing. There's no losing. There's no anguish. <laughs>